If you experience pain or discomfort when going to the bathroom, or you see feces with strips of blood in the toilet, you might have hemorrhoids. And believe it or not, this is very common in our world today. It affects millions of people around the world, and many times it's because of their diet and what they are eating. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal three simple steps you can naturally use to cure hemorrhoids and bleeding forever. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. And this channel is a conventional doctor treating patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of protocol quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to check the tips and video links related to this topic. As I just mentioned, hemorrhoids are a very common anorectal condition. It affects millions of people around the world and many times people don't know that the problem is what they might be eating or what may be happening inside their bodies. This condition is commonly seen in emergency clinics or private practices and thankfully has a natural treatment, even though it might not seem like it. Most patients are able to cure their hemorrhoids with dietary changes, high fiber diets, herbal supplements, and non-surgical medical treatments at home, believe it or not. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through three simple steps that you can naturally use to cure hemorrhoids and bleeding forever. Step one, improve your diet. Hemorrhoids or the formation of this condition has several causes and risk factors. Two very important ones are the straining during bowel movements that you might have every day, and eating a diet that doesn't really help you with digestion. One very important thing you should be doing to cure hemorrhoids is improve your diet in several simple or several, several ways, like the ones I'm going to reveal to you today. So start by eliminating wheat from your diet. Wheat is a grain that contains gluten and which in most cases causes inflammation inside our intestines and causes problems. I've seen most patients with hemorrhoids find great relief just by eliminating wheat products from their diet. And believe it or not, breads, pasta, and anything that contains wheat white flour can be especially harmful for people with hemorrhoids, especially if that person has hypothyroidism. You need to consume high fiber foods instead. One very important thing you should be doing to treat this condition is avoid constipation and start consuming foods that will help you. So for example, blueberries are very, very helpful in this condition. They're anti-inflammatory, but they can also help you with fiber. Nuts, avocado, chia seeds, flax seeds, quinoa, even figs and Brussels sprouts. Excellent fiber containing foods. Don't forget that fiber is the one that's going to soften your stools and obviously not be harsh on that last end of your colon, which is obviously what is causing your hemorrhoids. You need to make sure that feces are, you know, bland, they, they're not hard, and you're not suffering from constipation to reduce the risk of persisting symptoms. Very, very important. Another ingredient you should be including in your diet, and sometimes we don't think about it, is water. I don't know if you knew this, but water is the one responsible for staying inside your stools and making sure that you're not suffering in that evacuation process. Without water and without drinking more water, you obviously will suffer dehydration that leads to constipation and obviously leads to problems going to the bathroom. You need your stools to travel smoothly, directly through that digestive tract, no problems, no inflammations, and obviously will relieve the symptoms in the long run. Number two, you need to know how to go to the toilet. Toilet habits are extremely important hemorrhoids treatments, and there are several things you need to watch out for, and things that you might not think about are important but are crucial when it comes to hemorrhoids. The first thing is educating your bowels, educating your colon. You need to make sure that you have a specific time every day where you go to the bathroom, and this is something that you can educate your body to do every day. Try not to vary your bathroom visits every single morning because this will affect the constipation you might be suffering with the feces you need to evacuate. Don't wait. Make sure that you have a single and specific time every day to go to the bathroom. Obviously, the sooner you go, the better. Time will only, only make things worse and obviously make things a lot harsher. Now, another thing you need to learn to do is sit correctly. 
I don't know if you knew this, but there is a proper way of sitting when nature calls, and this is very, very important. Our anatomy favors a more primitive position where knees should be slightly higher in level than your anus. And this way feces can flow out without creating pressure on that special part of your body that obviously will create hemorrhoids. Now, another very common mistake I see a lot is the prolonged sitting on the toilet. Spending too much time sitting that way will worsen hemorrhoids. Obviously, will put more pressure, more blood onto your anus and will cause that problem. So you need to learn how to sit. I really emphasize on this part because this can aggravate hemorrhoids more than you think. You need to know how to sit and how much time you should be spending in the bathroom before things get a lot worse. Number three, use supplements. Supplements are extremely helpful in a variety of health conditions, including hemorrhoids. And what I suggest you do is find the best formula that suits this condition that is anti-inflammatory, but also has herbs that will help this condition be solved. So for example, something that has butcher's broom. Butcher's broom is extremely helpful in reducing swelling, inflammation of your veins and hemorrhoids. A 2002 study, for example, conducted in Germany found that butcher's broom was effective at using and treating chronic venous insufficiency, something that might happen during that inflammation when you have that condition in your anus. Pycnogenol is another, another ingredient. It's a bark from the maritime French tree used in 2010 in a study published in the Phytotherapy Research Magazine that investigated the efficacy of this, of this herb orally and even applied topically as a hemorrhoid cream. It works. The patient enrolled in the study saw a significant decrease in symptoms in comparison to a placebo. So very helpful. Other herbs are psyllium husk, sometimes even curcumin for, for a small period of time that will reduce inflammation and help your colon get by this problem and solve this condition. If you need something natural that contains all these ingredients together that can help you with venous insufficiency and bleeding inside that may be caused by constipation, straining, and hemorrhoids, look for vein flow and laxi prune from Finland at drlandivar.com. And help out the channel by giving us a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or align an appointment, visit larva.com and check out these other videos related to a stock and provide information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you soon.